Hey guys, so what's up? It's Leo back here for another video and we are in central London and today we're gonna to be, as you already know, testing out the Fujili Weekly app. So today what I've done, I have put five film stocks, five recipes from the Fuji Weekly app into my Fuji X100V and today we're gonna to be shooting it all around London, just JPEG, no raw. So we're gonna up that JPEG game and see how everything comes out. Let's go. We're not actually going that way, we're going that way. So, but it is cool going that way. All right. <laughs> no problem. Alright, let's move on to location. Alright. Let's go towards Brick Lane. over to a new one so we shoot shooting Porsche 400 we're gonna shoot now let's go with some because the sun's really it harsh makes it all a bit elitist, I let's think. hit it with some classic Ilford HP5 black and white Just an intermission, we're just having a coffee break. Cheers. So we've shot Porsche 400, we've shot HP5, uh, we shot Kodak Gold. 
So now we're going to shoot some City Still 50D. Every single one of those shots is blurry. Look. Blurry. 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 I don't know why, but it seems like using the simulations on the camera slows the camera down a lot. I don't know if it's just my camera or your camera too. Let me know in the comments below. When you're taking a photo, I'm lining up a shot here, and you press the shutter button, it'll storing and black out for a while. So if you want to try like, and this is only on JPEG, it's not even shooting raw. Keep that in mind when you're using simulations. We're gonna switch to the last simulation. Look at that sweat on, on the screen. That's just from my, it's really hot out here, guys. So we're gonna to change to Fuji Superior 1600. Um, 1600, it's a bit bright for it, so I'm gonna kind of customize it and bring down the 1600 to about 200. So Fuji Superior 200, I guess. Fuji weekly simulations on the X100B. It was being really cool, a big learning curve. I don't know how the results came out, so you guys let me know in the comments below. I'm gonna leave this now to Leo back in the studio to finish off the video, but thanks for following us today, and I hope you have a good one. Peace. Thanks for bringing it back here, Leo, the past. So, what'd you guys think of the video? What'd you guys think of the results that came out of the camera? Me, personally, I thought they came out really, really cool looking. I definitely think it's something that you don't have to put into RAW, put into edit. You can just literally take the photo in camera and enjoy the outcome of what it generates itself and post it online or post it wherever you want to. I think it has a really cool characteristic behind each of these simulations. There are a few cons, I do believe, but that could be down to user error. Some of the simulations don't really match what the original film stock is, but you can't really replicate film stock. For those that can, just, uh, you know, let me know in the comments below. So yeah, I think it's an awesome tool to use. I think it's definitely something that is worth playing around with. Do you always have to shoot raw and edit your photos to look like the simulation you want? Or can you just change it in camera using the Fuji Weekly app? I personally think, forget the edit, it takes too long. Get it in camera, get it as you see it. 
I think that's the best thing to do personally. That's just me personally. So anyway, guys, what do you think of the video? Is it helpful to you? Do you think it is something that you will try out? Let me know in the comments below. If it's something that you already use, what's your favorite recipe? Drop that in the comments below. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. A share will be awesome for those who you think could benefit from something like this. If you haven't already, why not subscribe to the channel? Because I make cool videos like this that interact with you guys, that interact back to me. And then we can just like build this community and make awesome content. And that's what we're about. Don't forget to hit that bell notification because we all know it's the coolest thing to do. So yeah, that's all I got for you. And again, thanks very much for watching. Keep an eye on this page because we'll be bringing more new stuff towards you very, very soon. Got a whole list ready. And as always, keep creating, keep doing what you love, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace. I'm gonna turn it off by here again. So, see you later. Okay, so here you have the Fujiwiki app. You just have to just click it open. And here it comes into a little filter box. If you wanna mess with this, that's not a problem at all. Or you can just go to search. And in this search feature, it's quite cool because you can literally type in your favorite film stock. So let's say, Portra 400, it also generates, has different versions as you can see. So it doesn't just give you one recipe and that's it. It constantly evolves and updates the website, but it doesn't get rid of the old stuff, which is great because sometimes, even if it's not the simulation you want, sometimes it's the look you want. And I think that's cool. So let's go into Kodak Portra 400 V2. And as you can see here, normally it gives a little uh, sample image at the top, but maybe it's because I'm recording the screen, it probably didn't do it. But as you can see here, it has the recipe, the recipe. And as you flick down the recipe, you can see it's classic Chrome. And each one of these settings are listed in the Fuji menu exactly the same way as is listed here. So that is super convenient and super easy to input these recipes into your camera.